What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. So on today's figure review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Bandai Movie Monster series Gorosaurus vinyl figure. And to start off, we're going to take a close up look to see how much of this figure can articulate on its body. So here to start off, we're going to take a look at the arms. And, yep, both arms can indeed rotate all the way around. And, yep, you guessed it as well. The legs are a little bit more stiffer to rotate all the way around. But it is possible to get them both to rotate. Of course, the only thing, as you can see here, that may prevent it from rotating all the way around is how you position the arms and the legs. Because right here, for example, it may or may not be easy to give it a go all the way around. But, yep, that is it for the legs and the arms. As far as the head goes, it seems to be glued on to where the head meets the rest of the body. So I would imagine that if it was not glued on, it would probably be loose at this point on the body. So that's probably why that they had it glued on in the first place to make sure it just stays on there pretty good. Now, the last and final piece of movement on the figure is the tail. And the tail, you can rotate all the way around. And then, here at the bottom of the tail, you see the detailing of the manufacturing, which blends in kind of, well, definitely pretty well. As far as the color scheme on this Gorosaurus figure, he's pretty much all green all the way around. And he'll you'll see on some parts of his body where he'll have a lighter shade. Well, I guess the main, the main portion of his body is a little bit of a darker green. And like right here to where... His legs are right here at this point, and then his arms right here on this point. Pretty much the same on the other side, but what I'm trying to say is, like, you have some spots where it's a little bit of a, just a little bit of a brighter green. And then for his toes and his claws, they're painted of a gray-like color. On both the toes and the claws. And here underneath on his belly. He has a very, very lighter shade of, I would say, of a yellow green or just a light green color. From his neck all the way down before you get to the starting point to where his tail can move. And he has that same colorization on the side of both of his legs. And then a little bit on the sides. And then, as you can see here, compared to, compared to right here and right there, there's some of that colorization at the bottom of the arm, whereas on the... At the top right here, the top of the arm, where it's underneath at the side of his arm. And then the eye is pretty much of the, like the pupil is like, or the eye color. Pretty sure the eye color is a black. 
color and with the rest being white and then for the mouth he has yellow teeth and pink ish gums and a pink tongue Alrighty, everyone, so now we are gonna go ahead and move on into doing size comparisons with this Gorosaurus figure right about now. Alright, and first up to bat here, we have the Bandai Movie Monster Series Corsaurus next to the Bandai Creation Godzilla 1968. And as you can see, the Bandai Creation Godzilla 1968 is much taller than our boy Gorosaurus. Practically towers over Godzilla. Or, sorry, the other way around. Practically Godzilla towers over Gorosaurus. All right, let's move on. Next, here we have Gorosaurus next to the Bandai Movie Monster Series Kong 2021. And I believe if I have not mentioned this previously, so with this Gorosaurus figure, the tag of the image, I believe, is from the film of King Kong escapes to where briefly Gorosaurus has a small cameo in that film but I would like to say to identify this Gorosaurus as just in general the Showa era Gorosaurus and as you can see here to how this Gorosaurus from the Showa era rivals against the Monsterverse Kong And there we have it. But, yep, we're gonna move, go ahead and move on next. Here we have Gorosaurus next to the YMSF Humonga. And as you can tell right away, Gorosaurus much like every other monster that is taller than Kumonga, is pretty much, like I said, taller than Kumonga. At least this way. As far as going like that, well, you get the idea. But, all right, one last comparison. And here we go. Oh, and what a surprise. Here we have Gorosaurus next to, if you will, his oddly weirdly doppelganger. But no, I'm just kidding. But here we have, I believe, yep, it is the third form of Godzilla from Godzilla singular point in this form is called and just bear with me just sorry bear with me if I butcher the name wrong here we have the terrestrious kind of been practicing how to say that name terrestrious form of Godzilla from Godzilla singular point and a lot of people can make a lot of comparisons to the way how his other forms as well resembled very much like the older versions of former kaiju from the franchise. So in this case, 
here we have an almost it's like if you combine Godzilla with Gorosaurus and this is what you would get on the right but yeah here's a comparison between the two right now but with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on to Fierce Zilla Jr. All right, Fierce Zilla Jr. Again, like I said before, and I'll say it again, any final thoughts on this new Bandai Movie Monster Series figure? Or would you like to take us again to see what's been going on at the island recently.